How much affection? Because I don't want to run out of time. We had a good one to end with. And I want to make sure we end with that. Heavy petting. Let's see what they say, sir. They're going to talk about heavy petting. How much is too much? How much, much affection? Never too much. By Paul H. Landis, state professor of sociology at the State College of Star Wars. Oh, uh, so basically he's a commie pinko piece of shit. <laughs> Tell me how much affection. If I want to put my I want to put my finger in my girl's ass and freaking the movie theater, that's my prerogative. As long as she's okay with it, shut the fuck up. You wish you were doing it, Landis, you piece of shit. Wait, let's see how this goes, bro. Let's see how this goes. I don't think it's going to turn out well. This is going to be hilarious. We did all we could. Did everything we could. Oh, look at that fucking car. God damn, that's beautiful. They don't make them like that. Nope. Hey, not so fast. Don't make me tackle you, bitch. Oh, yeah, that day went well. Oh, you got fucking slammed, bro. That day didn't go well at all. Is that you, dear? Oh, mother. 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 I just been touched, mother. That's usually where he's like, damn, I knew I should have roof eat or drink. Yeah, these days. Or more like the 90s. That would have been, yeah. She would no, have in those days. When, like when Biff Tannen had freaking uh, Marty McFly's wife and fucking Lorraine. That was Spanish. He had fly. Lorraine. He Wasn't was going to fucking rape her. Yeah, let's not all forget Spanish that there fly. was almost a rape in, in Back to the Future. In Back to the Future, yeah. That was a fucked up scene. When I was when I was watching with my daughter, I'm like, oh, this is fucked up. I'm like, Harper, a guy ever does that to you, you let me know as soon as possible because he will die. Yeah, you'll be going to jail. Did you have a Yeah, nice B- time? Biff won't live to shine my car. Or shine your boyfriend's car. Well, you don't look much like a girl who's been out having a wonderful evening. Oh, <laughs> oh no. no he your makeup isn't smeared and your panties aren't on the floor. Let's hear what, what went wrong. Do you remember when you told me that I might, I might have such strong feelings about a boy that it might be hard for me to decide what's right to do? Yes, I remember. Why? That's how you got Something here. Something like that tonight with Jeff. You know, I like him an awful lot, and we, we have such fun at dances. But tonight, the, the feeling between us kept getting stronger and stronger. So let me get this straight. That's called a hard on. That's called humans. But anyway, so nothing happened, bro. She ran away because she wanted to screw him. That's what I'm I'm starting to feel from what she's saying. She didn't want to have sex with him, so she ran. Dude, she looks like she's 40 years old. Oh, still wait, they parked. And things seem to happen. (gasps) It was the driving. It was so close. Suddenly, I realized what we were about to do. The mom's like, oh, God, I wish I could get laid like that back in the day. Guess he felt ashamed, too. Said he your husband hasn't touched me like that in 30 years. Yeah, wait till you're my age. You pray for your husband to touch oh, you mother, across the fucking car. I'm so mixed up. Yeah. I don't know whether I even want to go out with She's like Peggy again. Bundy. No, dear. She's like, I've, I, I have to blackmail Al too. Bundy to bang me. Perhaps I can understand something. This is 57. <laughs> oh, yeah, you understand it, right, Ma? First, well, it all seems quite a lark. The chance of your finding the very love that you're looking for. Then, Mother, how do you... Come here, dear. Oh, wait a minute. ...work for you and not against you. All right, we're going to see this. Now. Oh, there's a party for all staff and friends. At the signpost. So everybody that hangs out by that sign can come. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, I just got to say something. That guy looks like the nicest fucking guy, right? He didn't do anything wrong. They both were feeling the same thing, according to her, and they stopped. 
But yet that yeah. poor motherfucker right now is getting mental issues. Like he did something wrong when he didn't. And you think she'd just say to him, yeah, we both almost screwed up and we can't do that again, but I want to hang out still. And so that guy's now going to have mental issues. It, it's, I'm kind of sad now, bro. I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of sad for whatever his name is. I wish I remembered his name. I'm a little sad. I'm just thinking that he's probably got like major blue balls right now. That shit sucks. Of course he does. That shit hurts, bro. Yeah, oh it does. So he got kicked in the nuts. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much, dude. Marion. Did they get Oscars for this? Man. I'm sorry. Whatever. What Tony's Oscars. Tony. One of them. A Tony? What is this? A fucking Broadway play? <laughs> Maybe it was. Maybe this was live in front of the studio. Fucking, what is this? The fucking King and I? Hey, that could be Yul Brenner with hair. What? What is that? That show Wicked. You're so terrific, and, and we've been together all evening. And you ever see that Broadway show Wicked about the witch? It's no, called Wicked. That witch. That Wicked. Oh, you mean Wicked? Shouldn't have stayed out so uh, What's anyway. the baby have to do with it? Yeah, look at look at look. There's like a baby. Oh, they got a baby. See what happens when you freaking let his cock come out? We have so much fun. <laughs> no, wait, no. They're gonna walk past a lady who's pissed off that shit. she has a baby. That's what's gonna over. happen. Yeah, and he's gonna be like, sure. I don't wanna be a mother on, now. Man. Don't touch me, like you this piece of shit. Fucking cock sucker freaking knocked me up and ran out the door. Ah! You called it, bro! Sure is. Baby and all. <laughs> I haven't seen her since she left school. That's... Oh, my God. She looks like she got put through the ringer. I wonder if they'll say hello to me. Eileen looks like she's on crack. Dude, that's a classmate. She left school because of the baby is what they're saying. Hi, Mary. How are you? See what happens Hi. when you give in to the oh, cock? Dude! Oh, is that the God, baby? You had a baby. Ew, you had a baby? Is that Oscar? Like they're like vilifying it. Is that Oscar the from Grouch? Ghostbusters 2? Who, the Grouch? No, Oscar from Ghostbusters 2. Get the fuck out of here. Dude, that baby <laughs> looks like he's 20 years old. He looks like a midget dressed up like one? <laughs> or a little person, I'm sorry, if that's a, a, a little person. Oh, that's darling name, Susie. Is she a lot of trouble, Eileen? Well, it's tiring. But it's not too bad when Fred gives me a hand. She looks like she's the living dead. You know, when Fred's done smacking me around like... and he gives me a hand, it's great. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Anything for her. Yeah, look, 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 like I said! Look, Fred's smoking, fucking wants to blow his brains out. I knew it. I knew it, bro. Yeah, look at him drunk, passed out. Look. He says it's a lot better than... He's like, fuck you, leave me alone. Nice, he's doing so well. It sounds great. You do really well, man. We just want to have a kid. Oh, well, we don't seem to... I wish I never stuck my dick in you, woman. Uh-oh, the music is playing. You know what that means. Here comes a baby. Get ready to be a beauty school dropout. Beauty school dropout. No graduation day for you. Beauty school dropout. Beauty school dropout. You sucked a dick and flunked shampoo. Hey, Mars, too, huh? So, oh, wait, we gotta go to the end. Is anything gonna happen? Oh, 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 bro. Look, bro. Peanut butter? Mm -hmm. Peanut, wait a minute. Peanut we butter on some. peanut butter we, where? On my deck? Yeah. <laughs> gonna I think we, miss, we're gonna, we missed something, bro. We gotta go back a little bit. What you got? Put some peanut butter on my cock. <laughs> and the corn on the cocks. Eat it off my cock, you fucking bitch. Cucumber? Yeah. And bacon? Yeah. And peanut butter? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got a whole Listen, I got cucumbers and I got peanut butter. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but that's what I got. Let's play hide <laughs> the cucumber. Oh, I know what he wants for Wait, dinner. It ain't ham and peanut she, butter, bro. 
Is she talking <laughs> about food because she's already knocked up? Maybe. No, I think this is the first official I don't know, kiss. Man. Cucumber and first... peanut butter? I'm like, that's like a pregnant woman thing. This is it. And then we're going to learn how every time you hear a bell ring, an angel gets his wings. Slow down the rush and pressure of your feelings a little. Then judgment has a better chance to take hold. In other words, you probably shouldn't be rubbing your crotches by each other. Maybe sit on the couch a little farther apart if you're starting to get your fucking yeah, right, dick hard. Right now, something's poking out, and like, let's be real, the guy ain't There's fucking, a little poke spanking. coming through on you. <laughs> oh, man, that's what that song's wow. about. That was that's what's story. funny. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Pickle, so pickle. There were, 